Welcome, my friends. Thank you for joining me for this episode. Today I'm working again on my cargo trailer, working on the rear wall, putting in insulation and the framing to hold the sliding glass door that will go in the space behind me. Let's roll the intro and get into it. This video is sponsored by Renowned Cargo Trailers. In the last several episodes, I've been working on the preparation to put in the rear wall here. And so what I've done since then is I've put in the studs that attach to the actual wall of the cargo trailer itself. And I'm going with steel channel here. This is C-shaped channel. And so I've uh, purchased that. It's lighter weight and probably less money right now given the inflated price of uh, wood. And it's, uh, again, far better for a mobile vehicle to have lighter weight. So I really like this and I like working with it. And it's my first experience building with this. And uh, so that's uh, so totally new. So what I've done is I've put the one on the wall. And then it will actually be inset by one foot on each side. And then to the right of this over here is where the sliding glass door will go. I now have a beam that goes all the way across the top here. And that's exactly at eight feet. And then I'll have another one that will go across the top of the sliding glass door. So this will have three inches of insulation just around the sliding glass door. And you can see where it attaches to the wall over there. Right now I'm taking sheets of one inch poly iso foam and cutting them to 12 inches to insert into the C channel. And I think it's better for me to do three sides of the C channel of the uh, pocket that will go in there and fill it with three inches of insulation and then cap it, put the fourth piece on afterwards. That way it will fit inside of the C's of the channel. I think traditionally most people are using fiberglass so they can just sort of stuff it in there and that's a lot easier to work with but I'm going with the poly iso here for the higher R value, the higher insulation. So this is sort of a dinged up piece here and I've taken one inch and so I've taken one section off of there that's 12 inches and then I'll take one other sheet of foam and cut the four feet into one foot section so I'll get four sections out of one sheet and that should do it. My arm's still in a sling. Not exactly fun, but uh, it's feeling a little bit better. I went to urgent care about three or four days ago and the parking lot was completely full. It was full two blocks away on the streets. The lobby was full with people standing inside and about 15 people outside. And I was told the wait was three to four hours to see someone. So I'm gonna to try to go back again probably tomorrow and I'm gonna to try to hit several urgent care units that will accept my insurance to see if I can get somebody to look at my shoulder. Sort of bad timing right now, just after the holidays and this uh, COVID Omicron or whatever that thing's called is hitting everywhere and the ERs and the hospitals and the urgent cares and doctors are just overwhelmed by the capacity of people who are going in for testing and treatment. Well, I have all the insulation cut and I'm trying to install it right now. It's quite the challenge with only one arm, especially wrangling a four foot by eight foot sheet of um, styrofoam out of my rig and out to the back. I sort of have to drag it with one hand Thank goodness the wind died down today. Yesterday it would not have been possible. It was over 20 miles an hour. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. Here you can see I have three sheets of one inch foam in here. It's inserted in between the steel studs, which you can clearly see when you get up to the top here. You can see the three sheets sandwiched in there. And then the sliding glass door will go to the right of this in this open gap here. I still have to uh, close in the top. So that's the section I have to do. Working on getting these three sheets of poly iso into place over here on the right hand side. It's a few days later since my last video when I was working on the framing here to put in a sliding glass door. Let me give you an update and show you what's going on. Over here you can see the framing that I put in on the sides and I have three inches of poly iso in here. I finally got in the end cap stud and that goes all the way around. And then my latest addition is up here at the top. So you can see at the top, I've added this section here that's going over the top of the sliding glass door. 
extra structural supports here, three inches of poly ISO up there. That's really more than I need, but that's how much this uh, gap was here. This is a traditional uh, type stud size here, but these are all steel. And I double checked my measurements. I think everything's good for it to fit. So at this point, I'm a little bit challenged. My right shoulder, I tore my rotator cuff, so it's really difficult for me to lift big things, particularly something as big as a sliding glass door. We are almost done here. Well, I should say the guys are almost done. I have not been really participating in this because it's just so physical and I am really wiped right now. So they're taking on all of the heavy lifting, the labor, uh, basically doing everything while I sit by and watch. I haven't been feeling well the last few days, so my energy is at a low and then with my shoulder on top of that it's been nearly impossible. The guys are done installing the sliding glass door and it looks fabulous. I'm so excited about what they did. Many thanks to Steve and Fritz for their work here today. I've got just a couple of little touches like I need to put in the paneling trim that goes around the edges and a few other things but it's in place and all the manhandling the big stuff that I couldn't do with my messed up shoulder has been done so that's really fantastic let me show you a look at what it looks like okay you can see it's right here it slides over this way they reversed it to where it opens on this side anyway it looks fantastic thanks so much for watching savor the moment and i'll see you in a future video